money is anything that is commonly accepted as payment for goods and services. Having money in an economy makes people better off because it simplifies exchange. In the absence of money, people would need to barter to trade with others. That is, trade goods and services for other goods and services. Bartering complicates exchange because it requires a double coincidence of wants, which is a situation in which two parties making a trade each has what the other wants. For example, suppose that a farmer who grows wheat needs a new tractor. In the absence of money, the farmer would need to find a tractor seller who wants the wheat that the farmer grows. Money eliminates this issue. With money, the farmer can find individuals who would like to exchange money to purchase wheat. Then the farmer can take that money to the tractor seller to purchase a tractor. Money has six key characteristics. Durability. Money remains at or near its original state over time. It does not easily damage. Portability. Money can easily be carried and transported. Most economies now use paper cash to increase the portability of money. Divisibility. Cash of large denominations can be broken into smaller denominations that have equal total value. For example, a $20 bill can be exchanged for two $10 bills. Uniformity. Bills or coins of equal denomination are all alike, or nearly alike. One bill has no more or less value than any other. Acceptability. Any seller will accept money in exchange for goods or services. Limited supply. The amount of money in circulation is controlled in order to retain its value. In the United States, the Federal Reserve controls the amount of money in circulation. Throughout history, money has taken different forms. The earliest forms of money were goods that had value in most barter-style trades, cattle, grain, and so forth. These forms did not meet many of the characteristics previously listed and were later replaced with coins made of precious metals. Coins have been common throughout history and are still used in most countries today. Coins made of precious metals can be melted down or shaved in order for the metal to be extracted, so governments now use banknotes, also called paper money. The notes have only the value the government assigns them. Note that the definition of money requires it to be something commonly accepted as payments for goods and services. Therefore, assets such as cars and homes are part of an individual's wealth, but are not considered money. In the past, money in circulation was commodity money, which is a form of money that has value in itself, such as gold or silver coins. However, today, the money in circulation in the United States is fiat money, which is a form of money that is not backed by any physical commodity, but is mandated by the government to be accepted as payment for goods and services. Paper currency, which is a system of money in use within an economy, is an example of fiat money. It has value because people know they can use it to purchase the things that they want. Money is defined as the set of assets in the economy that people regularly use to buy goods and services in an economy. The existence of money makes trade easier and more efficient. Today, credit card transactions, gift cards, and cash are all considered money and all facilitate trade between individuals in the economy. This is referred to as a medium of exchange, the function of money that helps individuals trade goods and services more easily. Money's second role in the economy is to serve as a unit of account, which means that people can use money to measure the value of goods and services. Money enables people to compare apples and oranges by providing a common unit, such as a price, with which to compare value of one against the other. It provides a common language across individuals as well as makes trades clearer. When a seller describes the value of her product, she can do so using dollars or whatever the local currency is. The buyer will then have a good idea what that value means. Another important function of money is that it serves as a store of value, which means that money is a way to hold wealth or that it is an asset. If people wish, they can hold all of their wealth in the form of money. Of course, there is an opportunity cost of doing so. They will forego interest that they could have earned by holding their wealth in another form. In addition, in times of inflation, the value of money erodes. Money also serves as a standard of deferred payment, the function of money through which it serves as a method for paying off both public and private debts. This function of money also enables individuals to contract for future payments and receipts. In fact, US paper currency, known as Federal Reserve Notes, says, this note is legal tender for all debts, public and private. 
This statement is how the U.S. government has decreed that its fiat money has value. Saying the government will accept this paper from citizens who owe it provides assurance that this paper is, in fact, worth something.